The humanitarian goal for Project Prakash is to provide treatment to curably blind children. And the scientific mission that's hidden within the humanitarian one is to study how these children acquire vision, how they learn to see after the onset of sight. So Project Prakash has three parts. The first and the most logistically complex part is outreach, simply going out into the remote villages where many of these children stay and finding who are the children who can benefit from, from surgery. These children are then brought to New Delhi where we provide them surgical care entirely free of cost to the children. Um, and following the surgery, we have an opportunity to see the status of the vision and what kind of change has the surgery brought about in their visual status. Um, and we, we find some really remarkable changes happening in the children, in their behavior, in their ability to make use of vision, and even in the functional organization of their brain. When we image these children using non-invasive functional brain imaging, like uh, magnetic resonance imaging, we find that the brain, even in children who are maybe 15 or 16 years old, it undergoes dramatic changes in a matter of a few months after the onset of sight. So that's been very interesting for us as neuroscientists because one of the, the ideas uh, that uh, we, have been, uh, we have been led to believe is that the brain largely loses its plasticity, its ability to learn to do vision after, say, about the age of seven or eight years to find that the brain has tremendous plasticity and more significantly that the child benefits from the surgery even at late ages. That has been tremendously gratifying and interesting scientifically. Um, just as an example, we worked with uh, a little girl by the name of Sumitra who was 11 years old when we met her at one of the rural ophthalmic screening camps. And Sumitra had been born with cataracts in both eyes. So she was essentially blind for the first 11 years of her life. Uh, she came to New Delhi. Uh, we provided her surgery for both of her eyes um, and then observed how that surgery changed her visual behaviors, visually guided behaviors. And it's, it's the difference between night and day. In fact, we have a video of Sumitra in the hospital prior to her surgery and then about a week after the surgery. And in both cases, we've asked Sumitra to find a box of candy uh, that we have placed by the side of a hospital corridor. Prior to the surgery, Sumitra has a tremendously hard time uh, finding the box. A week after the surgery, you see her walk down this corridor uh, with a much more confident gait and she very quickly finds that, that box. And that's just an example of the kinds of changes that we observe in so many of the Prakash children.